Hi everybody, my name is Wade Smith and I'm with GWS Gaming and Computer Repair. But uh, a lot of people have been coming to me and asking me, you know, how do I get rid of this My Start in Credit Bar? It keeps on popping up, it's slowing down my computer. And well, it's very simple and easy and I'm going to show you guys how step by step. So um, a lot of people who may be novices to computers, this is basically for you. If you're an expert, then you probably already know all these steps. but um, what we're going to do is just dive right into it and and so what we're going to do is basically you're going to go to your uninstall which you're going to click on here and you can do two ways you can type in uninstall right here or you can go yeah and there's the my start in credit bar slowing down the computer I actually removed it and then uh, reinstalled it on here so <laughs> so you can see how how well it just slows everything down and so you can go to the uninstall right there or you can go to it at the control panel and then if you go into the control panel you want to click on uh, programs and features right there and since I've already uninstalled this once it didn't install it again because I have a uh, I'll show you later on but what you want to do is you want to scroll down here. It's going to be right after the H and the J, in between the J and credit bar. You click on that, and again, all these steps are in the uh, YouTube video. So in case if you don't have time to watch the whole video, you can do it step by step. And then uh, you just click on it, and then you click on this uninstall right here, and it'll pop up for you to uninstall it and then you just scroll down and now this is where a lot of people kinda get a little confused and wonder why the MyStar and the credit bar are still popping up there's also a web access and uh, you just click on that and uninstall that as well I'm not going to uninstall it because I need that so it's right here at WEB access so you uninstall both of those features and you click out of it and so what you uh, want to do next, if you don't do anything else, you'll be redirected to uh, Incredibar later on. They have, it's a virus, but it's not a very harmful virus, but later on, you never know what, what portals that can open up for hackers to get into. Um, but what you want to do is type up here about, colon, and config, and then hit enter and you're going to see a whole bunch of these other files and I just scroll on down keep on scrolling to the K and we're going to look for a keyword there it was right there right there keyword URL see what you're going to do is just right click on that and you're going to click modify and you're just going to delete that and click OK and it removes that so no longer will it come back to the Incredit bar and then you can just click on your home to see if that worked and the reason why it did not work and it went straight back to Incredit bar was because we need to go also go in here to your tools and click on options I click on Type in anything that you want as your home page. Make it simple. I'm going to just put in there Google. Oops, missed, uh, misspelled that there. Click on it. Push OK. And then I'm going to go back into About Config. Hit Enter again. Go back down. And you can see how tedious that this uh, little virus is. What it is is basically is to hack into um, Google search engine and use basically their their own uh, um, search engine as well as uh, you can see the keyword did not get described in there so you click on home they use their search engine and their ads and so we were almost complete just because viruses can be so devastating 
and uh, no matter how small or big to your computer by slowing them down, using up memories, hacking into your your back end, especially into the Windows system which can be very vulnerable especially if you don't have a very good virus protection but as viruses come out more hackers come in so um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to run a, uh, a, a malware bytes and I like this you can just scroll down and, and do the free download it's a free trial there, it doesn't cost you anything I'm not a spokesman for it but I love this thing once you download it it will look like this and all you have to do is click on the scan perform the full scan because you really want to get everything out of there and just let it go and just go have fun and do something that you like to do because this is going to take at least an hour hour and a half depending on how much stuff you, you have on your computer just let it uh, let it scan completely and so when that's done just let it uh, you know finish out and uh, click fix your uh, your settings and reboot your computer um, it will fix so uh, I would say about 90 percent of them unless you have some you know vicious viruses on there but you know let let it reboot because it because the other 10 percent that it will uh, repair it will just do it at startup and reboot your computer so I hope this has been helpful and it gets rid of that that virus that I have been plagued with and other people have been plagued with um, really don't know where you get them from from downloading something for free so make sure when you are downloading anything make sure it's the uh, correct thing because you know what nothing's ever free and stay tuned and we're going to have a uh, some other videos about you know other viruses maybe some um, if you guys want to you know pitch some ideas for me to take a take a look at and we can go from there all right, you guys have a wonderful day, and this is Wade Smith with GWS Gaming and Computer Repair, and have a good one.